Good afternoon, this is Nshaman Oigel reading for Sunday and today I like to introduce the Secret Forest Oracle card deck as well as the Lovely Animals Oracle card deck. And this reading here is for Scorpio. Welcome Scorpio. I tried to kind of do the forest atmosphere by using the kitchen herbs that I have. There is citron and melissa, there is oregano, there is rosemary and basilicum. And my herbs, they smell wonderful. I just wished I could transfer the wonderful fragrance over my YouTube channel but it's not possible, so you just need to look at the herbs and I can smell the wonderful fragrance. So, that's for Scorpio now. Welcome Scorpio, the card that came out in the Sacred Forest Oracle is Daffodil Fairy. And the Daffodil Fairy relates to new beginnings you feel a tap on your shoulder and in a flash of yellow you see a daffodil fairy fly by you in a high sweet voice the daffodil speaks to you saying that the best is yet to be it's time for a new beginning and with glee, you race after her into the forest. Life goes in cycles, just as spring follows winter. A new cycle is beginning in your life. In the phases of the earth, the plants die in the fall, so that there can be new births in the spring. It is the universal dance of death and rebirth. There is a time to end and begin, and this is the close of one cycle and the beginning of another. We associate the daffodil with spring, as it is one of the first flowers to emerge after the winter. Its shape echoes the feeling of trumpeting in the new season and its color suggests vitality, radiance and sunshine. The appearance of this card brings a message to wipe the slate clean. It is time to release the old and to start the new. It can be difficult to release familiar routines, situations or relationships when they no longer empower us. However, we can have a higher self-encouragement and not cling to the old but set sail into new waters. So if you find yourself afraid to let go, the daffodil fairy urges you to face your fear and allow yourself to stretch in a new direction. The creator is at your side and wonderful opportunities will be born in your life. Wholeness occurs when you can say yes to both the endings and the beginnings. The spirit of the daffodil fairy says to you, it is time to start a new project or a new cycle. Life force and vitality, they are emerging. So release that which doesn't serve and support you and make way for a new start and is the message success 
is at hand. And the lovely animals oracle card that came out for you, Scorpio, is the seahorse. I think they are cute seahorses. And did you know that the male seahorse takes care of the eggs to be hatched? Oh, yes. That's very unusual, right? So, that's the seahorse. It's about joy, strength, and self-love. The general message of the seahorse card is to have a loving relationship. You must love yourself as you want to be loved by others. Everything that needs to be held strong does not belong to your life. A happy couple knows the importance of the sentence we are one. Strength of the seahorse card is the ability to love deeply and with dedication. The opportunities of the seahorse, they are the seahorse is capable of a long relationship. And you are unique in every kind of love. There is some weakness to the card, like giving more to the other than giving to yourself. And the danger of the card is that the lack of love and affection from others might affect you deeply. So... That was your reading, Scorpio. Thank you for listening. I wish you a wonderful Sunday. Take care and goodbye.